Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the VFly Finder 2 Smart Buzzer. In this video I'm going to compare it with the VFly Finder 1 and 1.2 and also with the Hellgate FPV Smart Buzzer. In addition I'm also going to head outdoors and test these four buzzers out and I'm also going to announce the winner of the giveaway that was announced on my review of the VFly Finder 1. So what is the difference between all the versions? First of all, the difference between the version 1.2 and the version 1 is only the firmware. On the version 1, the beeping sound was played at maximum volume every 4 seconds and the walking time was up to 6 hours. Then the firmware was adjusted on the version 1.2 and for the first 30 seconds the beeping sound was played at low volume. Then between 30 seconds to 2 hours the beeping sound was played at maximum volume every 4 seconds. And then after 2 hours, the beeping sound was played at maximum volume every 10 seconds. This adjustment helped to extend the walking time for up to 36 hours. The version 1.2 is using a very similar method. For the first 40 seconds, the beeping sound is going to be played at low volume. Then between 40 seconds to 2 hours, the maximum volume will be played every 4 seconds. And after 2 hours, every 10 seconds. The walking time is 30 hours, which is 6 hours less than the version 1.2. And the reason for that is now they added an LED indicator over here. It is pretty bright and will help you to find your lost quadcopter in the dark. And it's not going to work during the day because they added a light sensor over here. So it's only going to operate at nighttime, which is pretty clever. Using the VFly Finder 2 is identical to using the VFly Finder 1. So you can check my review over here in order to find out how to connect it to your flight controller. In terms of dimensions, the VFly 2 is identical to the VFly 1. It weighs 4.68 grams, which is pretty much the same weight of the VFly 1. Now I've got the VFly 2 connected to a flight controller, and of course, just like the VFly 1, you can operate it like a normal buzzer using a switch on your remote controller. Now I'm going to block the buzzer because it is very loud, and I'm going to show you how the LED works. So you can see that now, after I flip the switch, you can't see anything, but if I'm going to cover the light sensor, you can see that now it's going to start working. So I'm now going to turn off the light and show you how bright it is. So now it's working. And after turning off the light, you can see that this is a pretty bright LED indicator. Now I'm going to measure the decibel level of the VFly Finder 1, 1 1.2, 2 and the Helget FEV buzzer. So the buzzers are going to be placed over here next to the 13 mark and the sound meter is going to be placed over here. Okay, so I'm out here at the park where I usually fly. In this time of the morning, it is pretty quiet here. I also got my decibel meter with me. And the maximum measured value is about 50 decibels. So this is a pretty quiet environment. I'm going to start by testing the Helget FPV buzzer. Now it's plugged and I'm going to start to get away from the buzzer. Now I'm at about 50 meters and I can't really hear it anymore. Okay, when I stopped, I can still hear it. I can still barely hear it, but I can still hear it. And at this point, at around 100 meters, I can't hear it anymore. And the buzzer is also facing me, so I'm also going to come back at the circle. Here, for example, I can't hear the buzzer because it's not facing me, even though it's closer than before. So now when the buzzer is facing me, I can hear it. But if I'm going to move to this direction, it's going to be harder for me to hear it, but I can still hear it. Now I'm going to run the same test with the VFly Finder version 1.2. At around 40, 50 meters, I can still hear it pretty loud. At around 100 meters, I can still definitely hear it. Now it starts to be a little bit difficult to hear it, but I can still hear it. There's a plane coming down. 
but I can actually still hear the buzzer, so this is pretty impressive. Okay, I think that at around this point, you can see almost at the end of the grass. I can't hear the buzzer, I can actually still barely hear it, but I'm going to go back in this direction and see if I can still hear it when I'm coming back, not in a direct path. So at this point, for example, when I'm not facing the buzzer, it is not as clear as it was before, but I can definitely hear the buzzer. And if I would have crushed the quadcopter, probably I would be able to recover it in this distance. And I can estimate this is around 40 meters and the buzzer is not facing me. I'm going to come from this direction. And you can hear that the buzzer is very, very loud. Finally, now I'm going to test the VFly Finder 2. I'm going to speed up the process, so I'm just going to start running. At this point, I can still hear it. I can still hear it, but I still didn't measure the decibels at this point of the review of both buzzers, but for me it sounds like the version 2 is not as loud as the version 1.2 I will need to measure it later and see if I'm right because at this point I can barely hear the buzzer and before I could hear the version 1 pretty clearly so now I'm going to start heading back in this direction now I can hear the buzzer pretty well And you can hear that when I'm about 20 meters or so away from the buzzer, it is pretty loud. And I think that, as I mentioned before, if it's going to be stuck in the bush, at this distance you will probably not have any problem hearing it. So overall, even though it was a little bit disappointing to find that the VFly 2 is not as loud as the VFly 1, they really make up for it by adding the LED indicator. I remember when almost losing one of my quadcopters when it was getting dark, it was pretty stressful because I knew it would be much harder for me to find the quadcopter at night, and that's not the case with this smart buzzer. I think that it will be actually easier for you to find the quadcopter at nighttime using this buzzer than during the day. Regarding the giveaway that was announced on my review of the VFly Finder 1, unfortunately this video didn't reach 1000 views, so instead of giving away 2 units, I'm only going to give away 1, but you still have a chance to win another one, so if you'd like, you can leave a comment down below, and if this video is going to get at least 1000 views by the end of this month, I'm going to give away another unit. So now I'm going to pick one random winner, in total we had 75 unique commenters, and the winner that won the VFly Finder, actually going to get the VFly Finder 2 because the VFly 1 is not in production anymore. The winner is oh My Quad FPV, who commented, this is great, I have a hard time hearing my buzzer most of the time. Simple buzzer, I'll be using this on my next build. So oh My Quad, all you have to do is just to send me an email and the smart buzzer will be shipped to you directly from VFly. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the VFly Finder 2, feel free to ask it in the comments section down below. I would like to thank VFly for sponsoring this giveaway, and I will see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.